are you doing? It's called Lama's breathing. It helps you push. <laughs> Great. He's pushing with his uterus. <laughs> it's got to be a smarter way of removing it. Yeah, this is nothing more than a physics problem. Right. Archimedes once said, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world. Of course. All we need is to find stuff to make a lever big enough to fix this. Exactly. I bet there's something around here that could be a lever. Let's see, a lever, a lever. Hey, wait, hold on. Let's take this problem one step at a time. First, we need to decide whether we're calling it lever or lever. <laughs> And the sooner we decide it's lever, the sooner we can roll up our sleeves, not slabs, and get to work. We're gonna be here for Ever. I don't think the lever's working. What makes you say that? There's gotta be something else we can try. Well, if this was Star Trek, we could use a phaser to blast it off. Oh, it's too broad of a beam. You need something more precise, like Superman's heat vision. Oh, the Green Lantern's ring can make a big green hand that unscrews it. If you need a green hand, why not just use the Hulk? Oh, please. The Hulk would never get across the border with that temper. <laughs> Guys, excuse me. Not that calling one of the Avengers isn't a perfectly reasonable choice, but we're scientists. Don't you think we can figure this out using actual science? Yes, we could use science, but it's your bachelor party. Lighten up. Percussive shock you. <laughs> we will, we will percussive shock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, stand in the street. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. <laughs> I have an eidetic memory. Sometimes it's a curse. <laughs>